I need people to understand this very clearly. We are done with protesting. What a protest does is it is a mechanism where a lot of individuals come to the street for a certain amount of time. They voice their grievances to the establishment with the hope that the establishment or the government that they live under takes action and listens to their demands. We first tried with protests, which is really important when a government listens. Unfortunately, the governments that we live under are not listening to our demands. And that is problematic due to the fact that 80% of people in the world oppose the Zionist settler colony, if not more. So now we are done with the protest stage. I need people to understand this. And we are moving from protest into direct action. Direct action campaigns are not about outsourcing our power and asking the governments that represent us to act on our behalf. Rather, direct action is saying, if you are not going to listen to us, we collectively are going to step into our power together and use mass nonviolence to force change. That is what's happening right now. So when we talk about blocking arms deals and general strikes and international boycotts of the Zionist settler colony, we are talking about moving to direct action because the avenues available towards us such as the UN and government, we gave them an opportunity, but they did not help us. In fact, they're actively working against us. So now it's time for us collectively to step into our power to realize that we can make a difference and we're not bound to these structures. And we, through mass nonviolence, can cause an end to the genocide. We can cause a lifting of the siege on Gaza. We can cause an end to the apartheid, illegitimate Zionist settler colony. And we can cause a right of return for all Palestinian refugees and their offspring to return back to Palestine because they were systemically displaced 75 years ago with the Nakba. People need to understand, there are no two countries here. There's not Israel and Palestine. There is Palestine, and Israel exists on top of Palestine. Israel exists because it eliminated Palestine and Palestinians. So Israel is not legitimate. Israel needs to go away. Israel needs to be dismantled and composted. And what needs to happen is there needs to be Palestine, and those who behave can live there. And those who want to destroy Palestinians and commit genocide, that is not an option right now. So I just need people to understand. We need an immediate ceasefire, of course, but it is not enough for an immediate ceasefire. An immediate ceasefire is the first essential and crucial step towards ending the Zionist settler colony and for working and amplifying the demands of Palestinians who have been saying that the illegal blockade of Gaza needs to end, the occupation needs to end, the state of Israel needs to end, because again, Israel exists on top of Palestine, the right of the refugees to return to the homes that they were eliminated from needs to be upheld, and Palestinian refugees in the diaspora who were forcibly expelled from their homes and lands need to be able to come back. And we need to do everything in our power to end this settler colonial state. Settler colonialism means that there is an invasive population that exists on top of another civilization. And that invasive population eliminated the original population, destroyed them, and created something on top of it. There are no two states here. Israel is Palestine. It exists on top of Palestine. So we need to mobilize and we are moving towards direct action. And we're going to use nonviolent action to accomplish our goals. Just like mass nonviolent action was effective in ending apartheid South Africa. Now, apartheid South Africa formally ended. 
However, there is still very well documented economic apartheid and inequality in South Africa. So this is going to be a long haul and we're going to do it. So an immediate ceasefire is the first step, but that's only the first step. What we need is to have everyone permanently divest from Israel. No one can do trade with them anymore. We need to pressure them because they're committing genocide. That's how apartheid South Africa crumbled. And we need to block the weapons. We need to pressure all of these weapons companies to divest from Israel. Like, countries cannot be sending Israel military aid anymore. The U.S. cannot be sending $3.8 billion in military aid to Israel right now because our taxpayer money is being used to commit genocide. That is not an option. So this is going to be a multi-runged ladder, and it's going to work because Israel is not some exceptional state that the world has never seen. It is very similar to any other settler colony, just like South Africa. And South African apartheid crumbled through international boycotts and international divestment and international arms embargo. So that's it. It's not complicated. We got this. I know we're going to win. And I'm excited for us to show out and reclaim our power because we're powerful.